Hey guys, what's up? Today we're gonna take a look at the most expensive JRPGs for the PlayStation 1 and boy, some of these prices are outrageous. But we've all known for years that PlayStation 1 is home to many, many, many very expensive and rare video games, not only RPGs. Some of those go for around 200, 300, maybe more. Man, I can't believe it. But when it comes to JRPGs, they don't stay behind, man. They don't. They're just as expensive. And today I have shocking news for you. You know how all this time Suikoden 2 has been the most expensive JRPG of all time for the PlayStation 1? Well, that's about to change today. Okay, so let's begin with Tales of Destiny 1 and 2. You know, these two have always been expensive as far as I'm concerned, as far as I remember. Back in 2010 when I started reselling video games, these two were already on the $50 to $70 range, maybe $60 range, but they were always expensive. And now they have almost doubled their price. It's been 8 years and Tales of Destiny nowadays costs around $100, maybe $110, $120, maybe $80 or $90 if you're lucky, but usually you find this game for a hundred bucks. Wow! But Tales of Destiny 2, that's an entirely different story. It's even rarer, it's very hard to find, and it goes for no less than $130. It's in the $135 range nowadays can't believe it! I mean, Tales of Destiny 2, also known as Tales of Eternia, there's this PSP version that came out afterwards, and that's very, very cheaper, of course, and it's a better game, I believe, it's a better version of it, so I suggest you getting that, because this one right here, between $130 and $150, that's insane, man, that's insane! Next is Valkyrie Profile. This one used to be one of the holy grails for the PS1 back in the day. But right now, well, yes, it's still expensive, but there's a bunch of other games, especially RPGs, that are more expensive nowadays. Valkyrie Profile, this is one of those weird cases that the price is always going up and down. I don't know why. I've seen this game earlier this year for $110, $120. Today it's around $150. Price charting says it goes for around $118, but I don't know, I didn't I didn't see any copy of this game for less than $150 today. Maybe tomorrow it will be cheaper, maybe tomorrow it will be more expensive. I don't know, but I think right now it's around the $150 range. Great game. Great great game. Next is Persona 2 Eternal Punishment. And this is weird because, again, when I started reselling, this game was not that expensive. Eight years ago it was around in the $30 to $40 range, I believe. And yes, year after year, it went up. It started going up again and again and again, and today it's no less than $150. Of course, like I said, price charting, it always shows like the cheapest, the absolute cheapest price there is nowadays. More like what the market is willing to pay for a game. But the real price, the retail price, well not retail, I mean the price in e on eBay, on Amazon, Facebook groups maybe, it's between $120 and $150. Today, I found it for no less than that. So I think it goes on par to par with Valkyrie Profile, but I don't know why this one is a little more rare than Valkyrie, a little more hard to find, so yeah. Suikoden 2, this one's a classic. 
Yes, this is yet another game that it's always been expensive as fuck. Suikoden 2, this is a limited print run game. There are not too many copies out there since the very beginning when it first came out in North America. So yep, Suikoden 2 has always been expensive, unlike the others in the series. I mean, Suikoden 5 for the PlayStation 2 is going nowadays for around 50 bucks. And the first Suikoden, I think it's around the same price, 40 to 60 dollars. And I think they're going to continue rising. But Suikoden 2, you guys already knew that. It's always been expensive. It's around nowadays for $150. And that's the cheapest I could find. The, the absolute cheapest. Oh yeah. Next is Brigandine. Yes, believe it or not, shocking news. We all knew, we all thought Suikoden 2 was the holy grail of RPGs for the PlayStation 1. Not anymore. And neither is Brigandine. Brigadine, it goes, it goes for around $120, I believe. Yeah, $110, $120. But this version, I mean, the only version that exists, it should come with a map. That's right. But just the case, in good condition. With the disc and with the manual, it goes for around $120. But with the map, oh boy. No less than $190, almost $200. $200, man, that's insane. Wow. And well, this is one of their, this is probably the only really rare game in the list. The others are pretty well known. But Brigandine, that's a great strategy RPG, pretty underrated and a hidden gem. Well, are you ready? Are you ready for the true Currently, Holy Grail, the one that stands at the throne, the one with the crown, the most expensive JRPG for the PlayStation 1 that it's not Suikoden 2 anymore? Well, sit tight, because this is going to shock you. Revelations Persona. I can't believe I'm saying this. I can't believe this game that back in the day will go for around 40 bucks. It's now... $250, man! Wow! Are you serious? When did this game become so expensive? Earlier this year, and I fucking swear, this game was over $100, $120. And I was shocked back then, because I was searching for the first persona, the first persona games for the PlayStation 1, and the, the second one, as I already mentioned, is around the $150 range, and this was a hundred bucks, man. What the hell happened? Is it because the PlayStation Classic came out and that includes the first Persona game? But that also includes Final Fantasy VII and that's a $30 game. It also includes Wild Arms, the first Wild Arms, and it's still a $30 or $40 game. Why does Persona 1 goes for over $200? Dollars, man, that's insane. I can't believe these prices. But there you go. That is currently the holy grail of JRPGs for the PlayStation 1. The first Persona game. And it's a terrible game. Yeah, seriously, play the PSP version, the police PSP remake or port, whatever you wish to call it. It's a much better version. And that version goes for around 20 something, $30 at, at much. Man, I can't believe this terrible game is $250. I just can't. I can't believe it, man. I am seriously shocked. You're probably as shocked as I am today. Persona 1, $250? Wow. Just wow. I'm scared of, what, of what's gonna happen with Persona 2 or maybe some of these other games. Maybe next year they're gonna go for 200 bucks as well. Man. Man. That's it for this video, guys. That's it. Shocking news. Spread the news all over the world because I just can't believe it. 250 bucks for Persona 1. That's just preposterous. 
Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe and share this video with your friends. See you next time!